you've been accepted at the university. Well, let me be the first to tell you. Welcome. Now before you hit the books, here are a few things you need to know. Athletics! Success! Skill building. Kindness. Knowledge. Academics. And most importantly, fun. <laughs> Welcome to the University of Winnipeg, where your dreams stay dreams. If you're here, then you've already gone through the hardest part, which includes application, visa, medical check. Do we really have to do this? Yep. Somebody come check my phone. Car broke down, gotta pay my rent, and I can't figure out where my money went. Last party. Saying goodbye to your friends. Drunk. Hey, everyone. I'm leaving, though. Come on. I'm leaving. Okay. Saying goodbye to your family. Drunk. <laughs> Saying goodbye to your dog. Drunk. Making it through Student Fucking Central. You might be wondering, what is Student Central? Well, it's like a black hole, a place where time is relative. For some, the wait will be only five minutes. For most, the wait could be longer. As an international student, you thought this was going to be like an American Pie movie. Parties every day. <laughs> Champagne showers. Clergies. <laughs> and popping drugs from a Pez dispenser. Poker doesn't even exist here. House parties are rare, and the clubs are pretty lame. This place is boring, and people actually study here. Nobody talks to anyone, and you will spend most of your time alone. You may not have heard of the word procrastination, even though you've been doing it since you were a kid. But let me tell you what it is. So the teacher's going to give you an assignment, an essay, one week ahead, two months ahead, what the hell, one year ahead. He can even tell you what's going to be on the file. But guess what? You will only get to work on it in the 24 hours before it's due. Then you're going to regret it, drink about it, cry about it. And then you'll prepare some desperate speech. You go see your teacher one minute before due date, asking for an extension with your heavy international accent and broken English. Please, sir, you have to understand my situation. He is going to look at you with pity in his eyes and give you one more week. Okay. But only this one time. Thank you. But still, you are not going to do shit for that entire week. You thought this was going to be so easy. You thought you would be able to make it? You'll never make it anywhere. Not in school, not in life. You might as well give up. But you didn't choose the school for all that anyway. You chose it because it was the cheapest option. Sure, you almost die walking down Portage every day. But when you leave here, you'll leave here with full pockets, empty spirits, and a piece of useless paper to hang on your wall because you decided to major in film. There's no getting away from it, really. If you leave here and go home, you'll disappoint your family. But if you stay here, you'll disappoint yourself. Oh my God, did you guys hear that? 
Have this? You thought those movies were serious? No one likes you. What's to like? No, no more horses. Hey, bro. Hey, hey, you okay? My name is Mishka. I'm your new roommate. Are you crazy or something? Bro, if you're crazy, I mean that will not help my oh, first no, year. No, I'm not. I'm not crazy. It's just that I'm worried. Aren't you worried about this year too? No shit, man. I mean, if you wouldn't be worried, I would be scared. I'm not really scared. It's just that I don't think I'm able to make it. You know what? I'm, I'm leaving this. I'm done. No. I'm your new roommate. I'm from Russia. You're from whatever you came from. And I tell you this. We're gonna make this shit happen. We're gonna blow this place. Yeah. 